As so many people continue to flock to our local beaches, there is some good news near the border where the water is now safe in areas of Imperial Beach, and that's where we find our Jason Sloss with an update on a closure just lifted. Hi, Jason. Hey, Andrew, well, it's been a long wait, and despite some overcast conditions today, locals are thrilled to hear that the beach is back open, depending which side of the pier you're on. A 4th of July holiday bonus for beachgoers in Imperial Beach, where the beach north of the IB Pier is back open. The entire beach has been closed pretty much all year because of sewage spills and contamination from the Tijuana River. Warning signs to stay out of the water are still posted south of the pier, but locals will take whatever beach they can get. I love it, and um, we're so happy to have the beach back open. The timing is... I will is great for everybody. The constant closures are frustrating for IB residents like Ed Vogel, who went a few miles north for a beach walk in Coronado. It's nice and mellow up here too. I like both cities for, you know, one, one has this, one has that. Contamination and closures have also affected Coronado beaches, which have been open since around Memorial Day. It would be devastating to the community and to the visitors and to the businesses if our beaches were closed. John Duncan is a Coronado City Council member. He's on a city subcommittee dealing with the sewage water issues and is a new citizen board member with the International Boundary and Water Commission, the agency which runs an international wastewater treatment plant at the border. Duncan says problems with the contamination spills aren't going away anytime soon. The current water treatment station down at the border that's run by the IBWC is broken. It's not functioning properly. The collectors aren't working. So even the plant we have now is not working. And they announced a month ago that they're $150 million behind in maintenance projects to make that work. So still a big deal, a big problem to deal with. Meanwhile, folks are just happy the water conditions have improved somewhat. Another note from the pier here, it's going to close tonight at 8 as crews are getting a fireworks show ready for tomorrow night. That's going to go off at 9 o'clock. Live in Imperial Beach, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. All right, Jason, thank you.